Yo, what's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna to show you how to clean a student Chromebook. Now these are normally the Chromebooks that are handed out to kids in school. And as we all know, kids, students may not be the you know cleanest when it comes to uh, taking care of these Chromebooks. A lot of them end up being dirty, having you know candy and other stuff stuck on them. So today I'm gonna to show you how to clean this if you're a parent or a student. And it's actually pretty easy. So if we open this up, a lot of times when you go to clean these things, um, if you've charged them, they're just gonna turn on, just like that one turned on right there. So honestly, you can clean it, whether it's on or off, but I recommend that you just go ahead and hold down the power button until it completely shuts off. And then once it's off, then we'll go ahead and clean it. Now, pretty much what I use to clean this is alcohol wipes so as you can see here we got some alcohol wipes here as you can see they're safe on the skin and they exceed the CDC's requirement of 60% or greater these are 75% alcohol wipes so you can use these on the Chromebooks and they'll be fine uh, another thing you could do is let's say if you had a microfiber towel or even a paper towel you could dab a little bit of rubbing alcohol on there, or you could use Clorox wipes or, you know, something like that and put it on, you know, like a cloth that's not like really abrasive or anything like that. Otherwise, you'll be fine trying to clean these. They can, you know, kind of take a, a little bit of abuse. But um, so let's just go ahead and get into the cleaning part. Now, when it comes to cleaning these, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna take your wipe and you're just gonna go back and forth across. Sometimes you'll hit the power button and it will start to turn on, but generally if you avoid that power button and go back and forth, you will be fine. Now, as you can see, this is you know kind of wet from the alcohol, but the good thing about alcohol is that it evaporates. Now, to pretty much kind of wrap this up really quickly as far as the keyboard is concerned, just take a paper towel and just go over it and you know you don't have to like put a whole bunch of weight down into this literally just go back and forth over it and you should be good to go as you can see here your trackpad is clean there's still a couple of marks here but i believe that's deeper into the chromebook but as we are looking across here you can kind of see up close that simply by using an alcohol wipe you can get a lot of this stuff up now if you wanted to go a little bit deeper into cleaning this and let's say you know you're really worried about stuff you could actually take uh, like a toothbrush and go in between the keys kind of back and forth up and down I'm not gonna do that here because it's not really needed but if you wanted to you could do that now let's move on towards cleaning the screen now you can clean the screen with it being vertical like this but what I like to do is I like to take the Chromebook and I like to lay it down. If you have a Chromebook that'll lay flat like this, go ahead and do it that way. If it doesn't, you know, come all the way back, then just support the lower part of the keyboard. And honestly, if you wanted to, as long as you still have alcohol on here, you can come right back and, you know, get this going. Now, I'm not the hugest expert in the world with this, so, I usually do little mini circles or you can kind of just go back and forth. It is really not that serious. A lot of these Chromebooks are honestly uh, pretty cheaply made, so you don't have to worry about super screen quality or anything like that, but just enough to where you can get the alcohol and loosen up the dirt and fingerprints and all that stuff. And I don't know if you guys can see that on there, but we got a little bit of dirt and grime. You can take the wipe, throw it away. You can take the same cloth that you used before and you can go pretty much in any motion that you want to just to go ahead and dry it off. And as you guys can see here, now the screen is looking a lot better. It doesn't have all those crazy fingerprints or anything ridiculous like that. So if we wanna clean the rest of the Chromebook because sometimes that's necessary as well, let's just go ahead and take another alcohol wipe and this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a little bit of pressure onto this not a whole lot just a little bit 
and this is for people that uh you know let's say your child or student or whoever they do not have a case on there sometimes these come with cases but sometimes they carry these around without cases the plastic here will actually absorb a lot of dirt and grime sometimes so you really want to just press your hand and really go around in a circular motion all the way around the chromebook and you will you wouldn't believe how much dirt and grime sometimes that this thing will pick up and then you can kind of just really go back the other way if you wanted to you could flip it over if you wanted to but i'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes and if you look here you can see we have some dirt definitely on here so i'm going to go over this one more time paper towel and we're just going to dry that entire chromebook off and get all that residue off of there and this will actually help to make your chromebook look a little bit cleaner a little less greasy a little less dirty now if we take the chromebook and we look here yes we still have some scuff marks on there but you de it definitely feels a lot better it almost feels brand new because that alcohol is just pulling that dirt out of the plastic so um with these rubber pieces you have a couple of them on there you can do the same thing and you know kind of go over it with the alcohol just be real careful with the ports like don't stick the uh, the paper all the way down in there and get it stuck or anything just lightly go over it give it a nice little shine little buff actually that one's a little dry so we're going to take another little wipe here and just go over that real fast you get your sides and do it like that flip this over and we're going to do the same thing to the back of it and this is pretty much the same thing that I do for students or whenever someone turns in the Chromebook and you know you need to sanitize it or clean it really good because sometimes you know you have to take a Chromebook that someone turns in fix it recertify it or whatever and send it back out the door so go on ahead and dry that off so if we look here pretty much clean you can clean a little rubber feet and obviously I'm kind of you know going through this a little bit quickly because I don't want to waste a lot of time but that is pretty much how you're going to clean one of these like student education Chromebooks or whatnot really doesn't take a whole lot if it's something that's really really super damaged then obviously there's gonna be a more aggressive cleaning method but that is literally all you have to do to you know sanitize clean one of these Chromebooks this is something that if you wanted to do it every day you could you don't have to I recommend doing this at least once a week or let's say I don't know if you're like really pressed for time or cash or anything like that at least once a month okay like minimum once a month just go ahead and clean this thing off that way it can be clean you guys can be a little bit more sanitary so yeah that is pretty much it so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below otherwise i will see you guys in the next video um, more tips troubleshooting cleaning methods and all that stuff uh, if you want more of that go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure that you like the video all right, y'all. Take it easy. Peace.